You are one minute of previously on, robbing us of one minute of new Ahsoka. This isn't just about finding Ezra. <laughs> About another group. Is Sabine dreaming about the previously on? This isn't just about finding Ezra. <sighs> Sabine is dreaming about the previously on. Did you keep a record of what you found? The droids destroyed it. Using the droids ate my homework as an excuse. If it didn't pass muster in Miss McGillicuddy's math class, it's not going to work here. You can always sign me up for a good ship landing, but we did not need nearly every step of their walk up to this discount Stonehenge. I believe we have located the reflex point on CETOS. Well, that seemed really easy. Kind of like they just happened to see it out of the window of their spaceship as they flew by. Definitely needed a scene about that. Putting loth cats in the willow so you can cram your lesson about friendship down our throats. At least, I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here. Cluttered work area as a sign of talent cliche. I was hoping you were still here. Hoping you'll get the chance to decapitate a droid. It's a weird thing to get this excited about is all I'm saying. Damn so hard to tell whether Ahsoka is mad, sad, or glad. The sin is this show not being about her absolutely dominating the World Series of Poker. Take off an arm or leg and it just keeps coming. Title of my six, I mean erotic, I mean family friendly and in no way involving droids being used in a manner other than instructed fan fiction? What happens if you get the power levels wrong? The head will explode. Perhaps we should perform this operation somewhere else. I say go for it. There's no time to relocate. Show will now make this droid head inexplicably explodey, so the hospital scene can cosplay as if our main characters are in danger, and Ahsoka can invoke a non-existent ticking clock. Carabass, that was like three sins for the price of one. But here we do sin counts, not discounts. This droid came here from Corellia. The New Republic shipyard? Episode expects me to know what Corellia is, and the New Republic, and a shipyard. Why does every Star Wars TV show require so much homework? Also, getting all that from this wordless display. Her Imperial operation should have been dismantled after the rebellion. Anyone check on that? Behold, a foe more powerful than the Empire. Bad project management. She doesn't want my help. Yes, she does. Is there no part of Jedi training that focuses on the clear communications of thoughts and emotions? Screw the Force, y'all need therapy. This place was not built by the Jedi. Whose work is it? An ancient people from a distant galaxy. Answering a specific question in the broadest terms possible. Also, an ancient people from a distant galaxy. Is very similar to a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. A little too similar. Also, also, I guess it was only a matter of time before they crammed Star Wars stories inside other Star Wars stories. I was banking on a deep fried Obi Skywalk Solorian. This is our galaxy. What is this? A galaxy for ants? Hologram thingy is shooting out a laser thingy and making the other hologram thingy do other things. Excitement? Thrawn calls to me across time and space. Star Wars was becoming a convoluted mess without forcing with time. And now we're forcing with time. Thanks. You speak of dreams, vague and fractured hopes. And you speak of dialogue from a vague and fractured script. This is starting to feel a little too Game of Thronesy. And I don't like Game of Thrones being mixed in with my Star Wars. I mean, by season eight, I didn't really want Game of Thrones mixed in with my Game of Thrones. What happens when we find Thrawn? I hope it's some cool sh**, because they're working hard to build this guy up like some kind of space anti-Jesus that's going to bring about Starmageddon. And if we're being honest, this franchise jumped that shark a long time ago with its giant space laser. And then that shark jumped another shark while driving a Corvette Stingray when they introduced a bigger space laser. So this scene is just a warning to the series that if you think about bringing Thrawn back with an even bigger space laser, that thing better be big enough to blow up the whole galaxy so we can get a hard reset on this sh**. And for us. Power. Such as you've never dreamed. As someone who has recurring dreams about breakdance fighting a centaur on the surface of the sun while Rocket by Herbie Hancock plays in the background, I find this statement to be a bit presumptuous. Go to Corellia. Assist Maroc with the final transport. I will stand here and stare at this hinge for a bit, then use the force to summon an Uber. An empire doesn't just become a republic overnight. You will still find ex-imperials at every level of the new republic government. It's kind of wild that this would be news to Ahsoka and Hera. Like, the line is here in the show for us and not them. That kind of wild. I think she could use some structure. So could you. So could this show. I'm curious. What makes someone ready? You just know. So do they. Star Wars. A nebulous hope. I can't train if Ahsoka doesn't want to teach me. Blaming your lack of training on Ahsoka seems a little unfair. You should blame your lack of training on donuts like everyone else does, Sabine. That is an excuse. And a poor one. Hu Yang would be the wisest droid at TV Sins. She doesn't want me back. She wasn't even thinking about me. If you're going to whine like a youngling, then you're going to get treated like a youngling. So the sin is younglings. I mean, kids. I have 
known many Padawans over the centuries, and I can safely say your aptitude for the Force would fall short of them all. Designing a droid proficient in negging. Well, then I'm authorizing it. Well, I'm not sure you can. Wanna bet? Is this a threat of physical harm or a threat of staring at him until he complies? One seems illegal and the other one shouldn't have worked. For the Empire! <laughs> Pre-shoot yelling for the Empire like the shooting itself would make it super obvious that you're for the Empire. Exiting through the window instead of the door. I had a friend in college who would do this on the regular. Still to this day, he's an agent of chaos. Whoever designed this console without labels. Whether it's lightsabers or people with superpowers, it's impossible to understand how one is more powerful than the other. But someone will win and someone will lose and no one will care or have any understanding of why said winner won and why said loser lost. This droid is just spinning around a bunch instead of attacking. Great job, and now we will all pause with our weapons interlocked for dramatic effect and a well-deserved breather. These double-bladed lightsabers should just be called, but wait, there's more sabers. This asshole droid is littering everywhere. Reminds me of the thing about dropping pennies from skyscrapers, which turns out to be much less dangerous than dropping other things. And dropping other things is exactly what Chopper is doing. But it's cool because this droid is the fun friend. What is that, a sequencer? Hot time to be working on your tracks, Maroc. You gotta get those beats in place before the saber battle. Doing a risky backflip that brings your feet closer to the flying blade as you rotate instead of the more logical front flip or just jumping straight up. Is every wipe in a Star Wars a star wipe? Debate. No one will be seated while Sabine sets down every single piece of her armor in real time. Nice haircut. We better get moving. I'm sure there's a lot of backstory here, and I get that there's some sort of symbolism as well. However, Ahsoka has been pretty cold towards Sabine this entire episode to this point. You need my help. No, you've done enough. Let's get going. No, you need to recover. So it really feels like the main source of tension between the two was her hairdo. Meanwhile, on Stargate. Stupid rocks think they're so great. This isn't just about finding Ezra. It's about being on TV. I know that I, for one, am very excited to work with you guys to get into the Octane Tower, find the Kraglin, and put this thing on the thing. Would you like to see it? Well, as long as it's not something weird. She quit on me. I wish I knew how to quit you. See? She doesn't want me back. She wasn't even thinking about me. Why don't you stop whinging and cheer the f*** up? The only time you are wasting is your own. Take your sword. Run me through. She wasn't even thinking about me. To be fair. 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 Forgot how annoying you are. No caps. I'm ready. New haircut. Same dead arm. Take us out. Number one.